Welcome back to The Breakfast. Uh, the Senate has condemned the non-remittance of expected income from the joint venture agreement between Star Times Limited and the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA. The chairman of the Senate Joint Committee on Finance and National Planning, Senator Solomon olami Lekon, during a public hearing probing the income and expenditure of government agencies, says claims that the ag agreement has not yielded any income for the federal government in the last 12 years is frivolous and should uh, be further investigated. Senator olami Lekon says there is need to probe the books of the NTA further to unearth the truth. Since 2008, a joint venture agreement that has not yielded a dime, and they are using the equipment of NTA 2008 today to transmit, start time to transmit, and it has not returned even a dime to the coffers of NTA. And the DGL informed us that they have been declaring losses every year by year. And today is telling us that he has directed the MD to bring out all the books for him to appear with him. I think it calls for a lot of questions and an integrity of NT as an organization. You must show to us here, is there a surplus or a deficit? If there is surplus and deficit, how much was remitted to the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the federal government between 2018 and 2020? <coughs> and how much is the expected figure? And again, we are also looking at a way by which agencies of the federal government that generate revenue. Maybe that might be, a, we, we should go ahead and amend your exi the existing law or act setting up these agencies that all money accruing to the government goes straight to the Consolidated Revenue Fund and you are compensated by way of cost of collections. So the cost of collection will be what you can go around and play with. Because here we have NTA, 10 billion era revenue without declaring the revenue from start time for the last 12 years and remitting just a pantry sum of less than 100 and something million or so to the Consolidated Revenue Fund. It calls for a lot of questioning.